be Sophie. It's impossible. Sophie's gone. She's been dead for seven years. Sophie? But 
is it? Has she lost her memory too? Follow me. There's something I want to show you. Seven years ago, me, Sophie, and Richard all came to this very spot and swore a pact of friendship. Look here at this tree trunk. Well, do you remember anything? I don't know. But just looking at this tree makes me feel somehow strange. It's like looking at something that's very precious to me. What does it mean? You can't be the real Sophie. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Even still, I can hardly imagine you as anyone else. I mean, you look just like her. Wow. So what happens now? Do you want to come back to town with us? That would be best. It's really dangerous here. Okay, then let's hurry back. I'm starting to get worried about the others. Yes, let's go. Sophia seed? Maybe Sophie is watching over us after all. From. I don't believe it. We know a girl who looks just like you. Hmm? I don't understand what you're talking about. Who are you? It figures. No, I think this really is. Sophie died seven years ago. Face reality. Stop seeing things how you wish they were. Sharia. So what happened? How did this girl die? Well, that's... She died protecting us. She sacrificed herself because we were important to her. Because we were friends. Hmm.
Did everyone make it to safety? Yes. We're all alive thanks to you. However, many people were wounded. D daddy <laughs> My daddy is hurt. Don't worry. I'll help your daddy get better, okay? Where are the injured? In the town square. I'm going to go see if I can help. Sharia has been a comfort to us all. She can heal people with a touch. It's almost like she's Lon's guardian angel. What happened to Fendel's army? They've pulled back, but they're still within Mont's borders. They've constructed an encampment just in front of the border fortress. Unless we destroy that encampment, we'll never be able to drive them out. Do we have any intelligence on it? Yes, I submitted a full report to Lord... to your father. Good. I'll check it out when I return home. One more thing. Frederick and Lady Carey are waiting for you at the manor. I understand. I'll go to them right away. Seven years. This is quite the homecoming. Aspel? Never mind. It's nothing. Let's go home. Hi, Mom. I'm home. Oh, I missed you so much. I'm so glad you're back. After what happened to your father, I've been so very worried. I'm sorry I wasn't here. And I'm glad you're all right, Frederick. I owe you a debt I can never repay, Lord Aspel. Did I miss the funeral? Yes, I'm sorry. We simply couldn't wait for your return. Your father fought bravely and died defending his home. I pray that is of some comfort to you. I understand. Thank you for being there during his final hour. You are too kind. Asbel, please. Please don't leave us again. You must stay and rule in your father's place. We have nowhere else to turn. That... that's why you've come back, right? I came back to see if you needed anything, and assess Lon's current condition. Asbel, you can't mean to return to Barona. 
Not after all that's happened. I know what you're trying to say, but I... I need some time. I need time to think. We left your room just as it was. Please feel free to use it as you like. Thank you, Frederick. Sophie, I'm going to check out my old room. Want to come? Asbel. I'm sorry, Mom. chance to understand each other. If I'd only known how bad things were here. If only I'd accepted my role as your heir. Then none of this would have happened. What am I meant to do? I've spent seven years training for knighthood, and now I'm nearly there. I wanted to be strong so I could protect people. But I couldn't protect anyone, could I? Not even my own father. And then he died protecting his own people. Protect. Protect everyone. You know, it's because of you that I wanted to be strong in the first place. Me? I mean... Sorry. I guess I think of you as Sophie, you know? This is so weird. It's like I've gone back in time. But I think I know my answer. I think I've always known it. From the very beginning. Thanks. I think you helped me figure some things out. Man, it's been a while since I've been in here. Was it always this small? some tea, Lord Asbel. Perfect timing, Frederick. Would you please mail this letter for me? W my lord! This is a letter of withdrawal from the Knight Academy. I will become the next Lord of Lant. It is my duty as Aston Lant's firstborn son. I shall inform Lady Kerry immediately. She will be overjoyed. Sure. Oh, one more thing. I've heard about a report outlining the Fendolian army's encampment. It's waiting in the study, my lord. Shall I escort you there? That would be perfect. Feels weird sitting here. This is where Dad did most of his paperwork. Frederick, do you know if this report is still accurate? It claims we can pass through the seaside cavern beyond Mon Hill and emerge near the enemy encampment. If that's true, we could use the cavern to stage a surprise attack. Pardon me, Lord Aswell? You look at home here. Does this mean our land finally has a new lord? It does. I know I'm young, but I'll do my best. 
I hope you'll help me, Bailey. I am yours to command, my lord. Have you heard from the Royal Knights? Will they ride to our aid? Unfortunately, it doesn't sound good. I fear we fight this battle alone. I see. As such, I'm considering how to deal with Fendel. What are you planning? We should strike. It's time we went on the offensive. We can use the Seaside Cavern to stage a night attack on their main camp. Interesting. Yes, the cavern should allow us to approach the enemy undetected. We'll split into small units and regroup near the exit. Then, when night falls, I will lead the attack. Ready the men. I want to be there tonight. So soon? The enemy is still recovering from today's battle. The timing is perfect. For the sake of Launt, we must not fail. We shall begin preparations at once. I want to be a part of this fight, Asbel. I want to help drive Fendel from my home. Sharia, I... I want to go too. Thank you. Thank you both. We'll leave as soon as preparations are complete. I want to make sure we reach the cavern before nightfall. I'll be ready. Attention! Asbel Lott. Yes, sir. In recognition of your steadfast dedication to duty, high quality of character and bravery shown during your most recent mission, you are hereby admitted into the ranks of His Majesty's Royal Knights. Congratulations, Asbel. Thank you very much, Captain Malik. I've dreamed of this day for as long as I can remember. From this day forth, I, Asbel Lant, shall dedicate my life to the Windor Kingdom. Asbel, you can't mean to return to Barona. Not after all that's happened. Uh, Mom? You must stay and rule in your father's place. We have nowhere else to turn. I... I just want to be strong. I want to protect people so I never lose anyone I love again. Asbel, take care of Lant. Dad? Protect Lant. Protect my people. Asbel. Wait! Dad! Just a dream. If only he didn't die. Uh, I need to get a hold of myself. Thinking about it won't change anything. I just have to do what I can right now.
Sophie. Don't wander too far. All right. Why do you call her that? Uh, I don't know. She needs a name, right? Even though we have no idea who she really is? Look, I'm just... You need to come back to reality. Everything has changed since... since then. You're right. It has changed. Sophie's dead. My father's dead. Hubert got adopted by some guy in Strata. Oh, and my oldest friend treats me like a total stranger and has apparently given up on smiling. <gasps> Look, I know this is all my fault, okay? That's why I decided to stay. What do you call this flower? It's a Sofaria. That's where we got the name Sophie. Sophie. Asbel calls me Sophie. Sorry, I should have asked you first. No, it's fine. Please call me Sophie. I like this flower. It feels warm and familiar. It makes me happy to be named after it. If you like it, why don't you grow another one? Here, take this. It's a Sofaria seed. This will turn into a Sofaria flower? When we get back to the manor, you can plant it in the flower bed. All right. Just shoulder the blame all by yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just... I'm just irritated. Irritated? It's kind of like being angry, but... You're cute, Sharia. <laughs> Where'd that come from? When I asked Asbel, he told me to say it to you. <sighs> hey, Sophie, will you tell Asbel something from me? Sure. Tell him to butt out. Butt out. Right.
So this is the Seaside Cavern. I can't believe I've never been here before. No one has seen us yet. Good. Let's keep it that way. Now come on. We're almost to the other side. Place like this sure doesn't lift my spirits. Hey, Asbel, I just told Sharia that she was cute, and she said that you should butt out. What? You told her that? Come on, I was just kidding around. She was already irritated when I told her. Sharia's been angry ever since we met in Barona. <sighs> Feels like everything's collapsing around me. Is it? Nothing seems to be falling apart. Everything is intact. actually have to swim through this place. I'm all wet. Are you cold? If it's too much, take Sophie and head back to Lant. Don't worry about me. I'm the one who asked to come, remember? Or were you just thinking that maybe I'm in the way? I don't know. Do you even really want me here? If not, you should just say so. No, I didn't say that. I'm actually really happy you're here. I just don't want to push you too hard. I couldn't stand it if something happened to either of you. Sharia, you were wet too. I'm gonna wring out my clothes, so turn around. Oh, right. You know, there may be other points in this cave where we have to swim underwater to keep moving forward. Okay. Let's make sure we don't miss anything. We'll move slowly and carefully. <laughs> you okay, Sophie? And Sharia, you should be careful not to catch a cold as well. Hey, don't stare at me like that when I'm all drenched. Uh, sorry.
Sophie, wait! Don't touch that! Hmm? Why not? That's a carnivorous sea plant that paralyzes its prey. It may not like people. It's dangerous. Did it bite you? Hmm, just a little. Let's see. It's better. <sighs> Good. I'm glad you were here, Sharia. Sophie, you should thank Sharia, too. Thank you, Sharia. Oh, of course. I wasn't expecting something like that here. We'd better be careful. I don't see the Fendillians anywhere. Let's stay here and wait for our men to arrive.
it's almost time. Follow me, and let's commence the attack. Do you think it was part of Fendel's defenses? No, I don't think so. It's probably lived down here for years. So, it would still be alive if not for... us. That's kind of sad. I feel terrible now. Maybe. But it was either us or it. And we have to save Launt. Asbel? There's no time for pity. I'm the only one who can protect Launt now. Thank you. 